hey, how you doing, Map here, Map Investments. So, um, so the headlines now are Trump uh, signals he won't sign COVID-19 relief bill. Uh, he wants uh, more money, bigger, bigger stimulus for the people. Which is okay. I'm okay with that. I won't complain. I'll take more money. Um, I was laid off after 10 years. And uh, thank God I studied uh, derivatives trading and futures. Because uh, pretty pretty much fend for myself here. Um, so the futures reacted negatively. Let's go through the futures chains and just give you a little bit of market recap of what's going on. So the dollar, here's the dollar. The dollar was bid up today. Uh, I think it got up to 90, 90.6 something. So it had a nice little rally. I knew the dollar was going to continue to rally. Um, and pretty much is unchanged right now. Um, the dollar going higher affects the metals, affects commodities, you know, so... So we have the, as the dollar is going down now, because maybe there's, you know, talks of a bigger stimulus, all the foreign currencies are higher. Uh, the Aussie's up, 6A, 6B, the pound is higher. Canadian loonies higher. The euro's higher, the yen's higher, the Mexican peso's lower, the New Zealand dollar's lower, and the Swiss franc's higher. Bitcoin up $230 to 23675 they're also going to come out with the Ethereum, uh, uh, Ether, I'm sorry, Ether. Ether, Ethereum, I think it's Ether. They're going to come out with a future contract. The CME decided to come out with a contract, and that's coming out in February. So good stuff. Maybe that's another tradable product. Bitcoin's too big to trace, about 50, over $55,000 a contract. So that's a big monster. I don't even mess with that. But maybe the ether contract is uh, more manageable oil with the dollar being higher is down 75 cents oil's been in a funk and um that's not good for the overall market uh the s p is down 1850 gold is pretty flat it'll stay it'll stay flat because it doesn't know what to do right now even though the dollar has gone up it's kind of just meandering uh basing right now because if we get a bigger package then we're gonna definitely get definitely gonna get a rally in, in, in the metals. Uh what do we got? What else do we got, got here? Feeders, I don't really trade that. Uh, 140, uh hogs, um uh, 66 bucks on the higher end of the range. Copper was in the 360s, got hammered down to 350 with a stronger dollar. That's gonna hurt the price of copper. Uh what else we got here? Lumber's been on a tear, back up, back up to almost nine, but that's thinly traded. Forget about trading that. Um, small caps down 15, that's been on a tear. Seems like it wanted to get to 2,000. Um, it's down 15. Uh, wait, let's see what else. Did I, the NASDAQ, NASDAQ's down 47. Dow Jones down 147. Net gas has gotten a bid. But we've been seeing uh, some colder weather, so and that's been oversold. And that gas was over three bucks not too long ago, and it went down to two, I think down all the way down to two sixty, and it's bounced back to two seventy five. So it's been fluctuating between two sixty five and two seventy five. It's down a couple pennies right now. Palladium twenty three twenty six. It's big contracts, untradeable. Platinum over a thousand. Uh, what else we got? Silver, silver's gotten a hit in the last couple of days, um, down to 25. It almost got to, I think it almost got to 27. So now, now at 25, uh, the VIX is catching a bid, VX. There's some uh, fear creeping in now with this new uh, deal with uh, what, what Trump said. So there's some bids here in the VIX. Uh, all the grains are down with the stronger dollar. Uh, what do we got? Uh, let's look at the bonds, interest rates. Uh, ZB, 30-year, up 8 ticks. ZN, 10-year, up 2 ticks. And uh, that's pretty much a recap. Let's see what tomorrow's bring. I'm net short. I'm short overall in my portfolio. I think uh, stocks are way ahead of themselves. 
and uh, my portfolio is leaning on the on the short side. I always beta weight my portfolio uh, to know where I'm at, and um, I feel like I, you know, I feel comfortable being a little bit short. I think we're kind of at high levels here in the market. Markets are random, and I try and stay delta neutral in my portfolio. But when I see things, you know. Uh, you got to use some common sense when you see it kind of up there elevated. I, you know, I'm trying to use some common sense, maybe stay a little bit short, which I'm short and I'm collecting my my premium, my theta and my overall portfolio. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Today was a little bit of a rough day. I had some um, some big movers that moved against me. Maybe I'll get that back uh, back tomorrow, um, but we'll see. Today was a light light trading day for me took the kid to the doctor and stuff yesterday i was more active and with the holidays coming coming uh soon i think uh activity might slow down so we shall see i uh, hope you like the video please like share comment below and uh let's see you in the next video good night